what is up, my dudes? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'll be working on the photo again. What I'll be doing, I need to put the ends of the bumper back in. I took them out when I went to ground it. I took them out in case I had to take the bumper off to get the car to the trailer, which was needed, so I need to put them back in and tighten the bumper on both sides. And then the other thing I want to do is my intake, where it goes onto the turbo, there's a small gap where the silicone ends and where the end of the turbo sits. So it's blowing air through there, so I need to loosen that, move it closer, tighten it up. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the car from the bottom, because I've still got a very irritating leak or whine or whatever the sound is, very annoying but I still got that sound. So I'm just going to go over the manifold, make sure everything is tightened down correctly, uh, see if I can see anything funny, something rubbing, anything. So I'm going to get in underneath the car, quickly sort out a few things and then I've got one or two surprises for you guys on the polo today, which we'll talk about later on. Before we get started with today's video, if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button in this corner down below. Share the video with your friends, help me out please guys. I appreciate everyone's support that you are giving me, but every extra counts. So, I would really appreciate that. And then let's get started with the video so I can get the work done and get on to the fun stuff which you guys are going to enjoy. So let's get started. Before we get started, I quickly want to show you guys what I'm talking about on the turbo. I don't think you'll be able to see it through here. Let me just see, no you're not. From down here, you can see there, that's why I need to shift the intake part quite a big gap there so I'm quickly gonna shift that and then I'll catch you guys in a sec surprise that I had for you guys was that I'm going to share my mod list with you. I had to write it down to make sure that I remember everything since it's quite a lot that I need to go through. As you can see, four pages full of modifications. I'm going to go through engine mods, exterior mods, interior mods, everything will be covered. I'm going to start off with the exterior modifications. I'm going to start at the front and work our way to the back. In the front we've got the custom projector headlights that I made. That's 
it's got lemon extent on them, the fog lights has got a lemon extent. I don't use them at all, so they don't even have bolts in. We also got the Kukra lip, quite a common mod on the TDIs or on the Polos actually. And then I also got the Anikon grills, the full Anikon grills. Cut these big holes in the front of the bumper to allow more air through for the intercooler to cool down all the hot air. And then we also got this custom intake through the headlight. It's actually a functioning intake for the car. I'll show you guys later on when we move over to the engine mods. Next up, we're moving over to the wheels and tires. This is 17 inch OEM cross polar wheels wrapped in your car, my 808 Neovas. We got 215 40 17. I went for the 215 over 205. In the rear, we got a boot spoiler, wiper delete. Uh, I've got the tinted tail lights that we, which we spray tinted. And then I've got the GTI apron with a custom 101 turn down exhaust tip. On the interior, I got the G5 GTI wheel, got a 3 bar boost gauge, auto gauge boost gauge, we got the Evo bucket seats, got a Sony Explode front loader, the back is fully stripped out with the battery box moved to the boot and we got the nitros behind the front seat, passenger front seat that is. So it was right at that moment that I finally found out what was making the noise on the car. I broke the clutch. Um, I don't know what's the story. The clutch pedal has got absolutely no feel. You can press it, it comes back up, but there's no feel. When you press it and you want to select yes, there's absolutely nothing as if there's no clutch. So I assume it's got something to do with the diaphragm on the clutch. For those of you who didn't finish this video, quite sad that you get to miss one or two rolling videos of the car and unfortunately the file with the engine modifications got corrupted so I couldn't upload that to the video for now I'm gonna have to take out the clutch see what's the problem get it fixed and then I'll put it back together and then I'll be able to show you guys all the engine modifications that's done to the car I hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet peace out and remember to reflect your passion Whoa!